How to create an animated retro sun in DaVinci Resolve 17.3. Inside your project's edit window, go to effects library, underneath toolbox, select effects, and go to find fusion composition. Click and drag one of these effect filters to your edit timeline. Select your fusion composition clip, hold in control and press D. Use command instead of control if you are a Mac user. This will open up the change clip duration window. Increase the duration from 5 seconds to 10. Click change. By default the frame rate for this fusion composition in DaVinci Resolve will be 24 stills per second. Right click on your fusion composition clip and go to open in fusion page. Inside your node panel Hold in shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom to find the ellipse tool. Select this and go to click on add. Hold in shift and press space again and go to insert a background tool. Select the grey box to the right of ellipse 1. Click hold and drag your mouse cursor to the blue arrow to the left of background 1 to make a connection. We will use the background node to colour in our sun. With this background one node selected, go to Inspector and underneath Color, double click on the box next to Color underneath Background. Type in the following code in the HTML box, hashtag E33800 to give your Retro Sun a blood orange glow. Click OK. With your background one node still selected, hold in Shift and press Space again and go to select the Merge tool. Connect Merge 1 to Media Out 1. Click on either the left or right view icons underneath Media Out 1 to see a preview of your Retro Sun above your Fusion timeline. We will use the Merge node to connect the Sun to the rectangle shapes which appear in the middle of this and slowly glide down towards the bottom of the screen. Deselect Merge 1. Hold in Shift and press Space. And go to add a rectangle tool. According to the box second from the left underneath the Fusion timeline, the total number of frames for this 10 second Fusion composition is 240. By the halfway point at frame 119, I wish for the rectangles to have increased in height slightly and to have glided to the point just below the retro sun. In order to apply this animation effect to the appearance and position of these rectangular shapes, ensure that rectangle 1 is selected. Go to Inspector and underneath Controls, ensure that your frame pointer for the Fusion timeline is at the first frame 0.0. .0. Double click this and type if you need to adjust the keyframe setting. Center X and Y should by default both be set to 0.5, indicating that the rectangle is positioned in the middle of the canvas. Click once on the diamond icon which appears to the right of this. To apply a keyframe setting, we will establish a second keyframe later on with different X and Y coordinates to allow the rectangle shapes to shift downwards. To enable the rectangles to grow in height as the animation plays, reduce height to zero. And since we want the height to change as well as the position of the rectangles, we need to apply keyframe setting to the height variable also. Now to go to the frame at halfway through my fusion composition clip, frame 119 which I can go to with my frame pointer underneath the timeline itself. To shift the rectangle to a point just below the retro sun, change center Y to 0.0. .0. And to have the height expand as the animation plays, increment the height value to 0.06. .06. Since we applied keyframes to these two variables before, the subsequent keyframes should be automatically set at this point. As highlighted on the preview screen, we only have one rectangle. In order to have multiple rectangles appear, and for them to glide towards the bottom in a similar animation sequence, return to your nodes grid, deselect rectangle 1 by clicking anywhere on the nodes grid, hold in shift and press space, and go to add the duplicate node. Connect the rectangle node to the yellow arrow beside duplicate 1, 
and connect the duplicate one to the green arrow beside merge one so that these rectangles appear in front of the retro sun. On your preview window at the halfway point, you should see a white rectangle appearing underneath your retro sun. With the duplicate one node selected, go to inspector and underneath controls, 10 copies of this particular rectangle should provide a looping animation of these appearing in the middle of your sun for a duration of roughly 8 seconds of screen time. Bear this in mind if you wish to increase the duration of which your animation plays on your video. In this particular example I will increment copies to 10. The lower the time offset value, the bigger the delay in which each of the rectangles spawn from the middle of your retro sun. To ensure that each rectangle stands out during this animation, I will decrease time offset to minus 20. A problem that we have with our current animation is that the rectangular gaps in the retro sun are still opaque. So how can we make these rectangular shapes transparent and have them pass on this transparency effect to the retro sun so that gaps appear and your chosen background is visible on your video project? Go to your color tab. With the relevant clip selected, go to select qualifier. Click on the blood orange color shade on your retro sun. The node which appears to the right of this preview should turn gray. Right click anywhere on the empty sections of this grid and go to select add alpha output. Click on the blue box to the right of this node window and drag to the new blue circle which appears to the right side next to the library which should make the white shade of the rectangles disappear. Now to create a retro synthwave styled sunset background. Return to your edit window. Click and drag your fusion composition directly up to the next video track. In this case here I will go from video 1 to video 2. Using the space left over in the video 1 track now, I will return to my effects library and go to generators and select 4 color gradient. Click and drag one of these generator filters to the space directly below your fusion composition clip. Using the selection mode tool which you can also do by pressing A, click and drag at the end of your 4 color gradient edit and change the duration so it matches that of your original fusion composition clip. Select the 4 color gradient edit, go to inspector and underneath video and generator apply the following dark blue shade to both the upper left and right corners after you've clicked on each of the two color boxes hashtag 0E0036 and for the lower left and right colors we shall apply the following code hashtag 5E0459 inside the select color HTML box and to expand the blue shade in my synthwave sky I will increase center Y to 0 0.350. To apply a gentle blend effect to your retro sun, you can also select the fusion composition clip and underneath inspector and video, go to find composite and change composite mode from normal to difference. The background music to this video is provided by the proud channel sponsor audio a link to the website and a code which can be used to purchase a lifetime supply of music and sound effects at a discounted price can be found in this video's description box. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.